Number 7. The Dancing Flag In July of 1518, a woman referred to as Frau Trofeo stepped into a narrow street in Strasbourg, France, and began to forever dance in Virgil, the listed between 4 and 6 days. By the end of the week, 38 others have joined her, and within a month, the crowd of dancing, hopping, and leaping individuals had swelled to 400. In their hysteria, many and crowd began to fall from heart attacks, dehydration, stroke, and physical exhaustion. One report of the event indicated that up to 15 people a day were felled by what was eventually named a dancing plague. What compelled them to dance to the point of near death? Physicians were consulted, but they couldn't find a definitive cause. They ruled our supernatural causes, calling it natural disease caused by hot blood and encouraged more dancing to relieve it. Modern researchers have speculated that the cause could have been related to ingestion of the ergo fungi, which grows on wheat and contains the toxin or go to tummy, a chemical scoposome similar to LSD that can have physioactive effects and ingested. Number 6. Poland River Creature This video appears to show the moment a strange creature was pulled out from a lake, put on stretcher and taken away by mysterious officials. Captured in Poland, the short film shows a group of men in what looks like a biohazard suits, working with others dressed in similar attire to paramedics. Less than two minutes, the footage begins with the men in white suits surrounding a mysterious body on the banks of the river. The men then lift the shape up and play the creature onto a stretcher. The men dressed as paramedics then will take the creature away to a known location, and no one has heard anything of the incident then. While some think the footage is undoctored, others think it's more likely to be some kind of publicity stunt. Number 5. Peter Bergman From June 12 to June 16, 9001, mysterious elderly man with a heavy Germanic accent visited the coastal town of Ship to go to Ireland, where he spent his final days. The man checked himself onto the Slego City Hotel under the name of Peter Bergman and paid for his stay in cash. On June 16, the body of his enigmatic man was found on a beach under very mysterious circumstances. Investigation looked at the toll available CCTV footage in an attempt to work out what had happened to him. They noticed that the man left the hotel each morning, he was carrying a de depossible plastic bag. He would then return later each day seemingly without this bag. It is believed that he was uh, gradually carefully disposing of his personal belongings, though no evidence has ever been found. On the second morning of his last day, the man visited the local post office where he purchased eight postage stamps and mail stickers. It means that he sent out several letters in the post, most likely to friends and family, but this is only speculation. The CCTV footage assembled from the case shows a great deal of this man's comings and goings inside the hotel and around the town. However, no footage exists of the moment in which he disposed of their contents in his purple bag. Investigators believe that by meticulously and intentionally avoiding cameras, so this decrease the chances of his disposed belongings ever being found. It is unknown why this man seemed to so intent or permanently hiding his identity. So it is clear that he was very important to him. The real mystery began when investigators uncovered the name of Peter Bergman was an alias, as there is no record of anyone is the same name and age bracket or disposition possessing this name anywhere. On his final day in Sleep Co, the man checked out the hotel with his spare plastic bag. And two more black bags, even walked to the bus station where he was spotted on CCTV, only carrying two bags. The man goes inside a coffee shop and can be seen in the footage pulling out a piece of paper and reading and tearing it up. Then he took a bus to the Beach Roses Point. Many witnesses saw him and reported that he was pacing up and down to the beach and seemed to be behaving strangely. It was at the same beach where his body later was found. Basically, the mysterious man had removed all labels from his clothing and had no wallet money or forms on the identification of his person. But no autopsy was performed and determined that there was no signs of foul play and no signs of salt water drawing. Further examination showed that the man has extended prostate cancer and numerous bone tumors. 
but despite his death health, the toxicology report showed that there were drugs including painkillers in his system, which meant he would have been in significant amount of pain. The most accepted theory said that man traveled to Ireland and decided to take his own life. However, police are completely unable to discover who this man was, how he died, and the reason of his mysterious actions. Number 4. Tyson Time Traveler On September 18, 2015, video footage of Mike Tyson and Peter McNeely fight from August 1995 was uploaded on YouTube. Someone in the crowd is seen taking a picture from what appears to be a smartphone device or a device way ahead of the 90s. Aliens. I don't know if it's a time traveler or not, but no one can explain what camera it is. The clip shown about the real footage from the 1995 Tyson McNeely fight and does include Kimples on an audience member using a device similar in appearance to a modern camera phone. The first example of which wasn't found until 1995. Could this have been a time traveler boxing fan returning from the near future or to witness a particular match in person? So some have speculated that the object is question simply an unusual handled portable camera. Its distinct shape and thin white rectangle with surrounded corners make it appear much more colder to a modern iPhone. What are you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. Number 3. The Trump On August 29, 2016, Australian family of five decided to go to a technology free of the Great Rob trip. Convinced that they were being pushed to a needed escape their home. For reasons unknown, married couple Mark and Jacoba Trump were convinced that someone was out to rob or kill them and believed that they had to free their threat friends' farms. They took with them their three adult children aged 22, 25, and 29 and drove away in their grey station wagon. They left their passports, credit cards, and cell phones behind and then they discovered that their son Mitchell had brought a phone along the trip, they made him throw it out the window as they were convinced that it was being used to tracking device. Each member of the family over the course of six days was found one by one. Mitchell was the first to leave the group after traveling all night with his family around 7 am. The he left the car and he was not convinced by the paranoid theories of the rest. Later than two days, daughter of the group Rihanna and Ella also left their parents and stole a car and drove the town of Gobum, where they reported their parents is missing. The two sisters then decided to part ways as Ella wanted to go home and feed her horses and Rihanna didn't. Police found Ella one as she arrived back as her family home. Shortly after, Mitchell also arrived back to this home. Rihanna was the last of the children to be discovered. She was mysteriously found in a Catholic state in the back of stranger's vehicle. She didn't know who or where she was. The next day, Jacoba and the mother of the family was found aimlessly wandering of the town of Yas, 270 miles away from her last known location. It is unclear how she arrived there and at which point she left her husband. Jacoba was found and delusionally educated and confused in states. She and daughter Rihanna were both taken into psychiatric care as public interest group Mitchell and Ella were both interviewed on the live TV where they attempted to explain what happened to their family and spoke about their missing father. On the sixth day, the orderal Mark Trump was finally found near one Carter Airport after seemingly traveling over 900 miles in total and was taken to the local police station. He didn't appear to appreciate the media attention and offered the middle finger to photographers and reporters. Investigators can find no reason why the family felt they needed to flee from their home. No drugs were involved and no previous history of mental illnesses has been discovered. They are estranging from chemical poisoning to streets in the family, to toxin in the water or ever just a hoax have been put forward. Some also speculating that the bizarre name, which is English and translated as the madness of many. This disorder can be responsible for close-knit family sharing their highness delusion or paranoia or fear. Also, this is only speculated this really reason for their actions and their appearance needed to escape is yet not discovered. Number 2. Shroud of Turin For centuries, Christians believed the Shroud of Turin was used to wrap Jesus Christ's diseased body in after he had died. Measuring 4.3 meters long and 1.1 meter wide, it seemed to portray 
to paint brownish images. Those of the back and front of Jan sunken eyed 5 foot 7 inch man bearing a striking resemble to Jesus Christ, as he have a body had been laid lengthwise along one half of the shroud while the other half had been doubled over the head to cover the whole front of the body from face to feet. Records of the shroud began in the 1390s when a bishop wrote to the antipope that the shroud was a forgery and that his creator confessed. Modern scientific analysis has shown that the shroud material dates back at least as 1390s also, there is evidence that alternations were made to the clothes during the Middle Ages and that the clothes may be much more older. Many theories exist. The events that created the face on the clock and no evidence of dyes have been found by researchers. Some think it's formed naturally as the clothes fibers dark and over time, while still others believe it's to be blood stain. Evidence of blood and human DNA have been found by forest victims, but it's too degraded to be traceable to any time period. The Catholic Church itself have never formally acknowledged the shroud through its kept on display in the cathedral in Turin, Italy. Number 1. Amy John Mary Fry Pitson In 2011, Amy John Fry Mary Pitson and her son Timothy were recorded checking out in the Wisconsin hotel before Fry Pits and was found dead and Timothy was missing. Sometime that night or next morning she took her own life by slashing her wrists and neck. She had also taken an overdose of amphetamine. The enzyme employed found her body at half past 12 pm. The next day, a suicide note warning her husband Jim you will never find him. It continued. I can take the chance of Jim hunting him because of my choice, so I have taken him somewhere safe. Fry Pitson was behaving bizarrely prior of the kidnapping and this rumor is that she may have been involved in a cult. What do you think that happens to Timothy? Do you believe that his mother was being truthful and really handed him over to the care of unnamed individuals? Or do you think it's still in all label of life? Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share or write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up the next video.